PaintShop Pro allows you to use an infinite number of materials with its various tools. All those materials are accessible inside the material palette. The material palette includes many sections. On the top, three tabs that allow you to display the colors in different ways. You can have swatches, and here you have the various swatches. You can have different swatches that have been added with PaintShop 2018. Changing the swatch will give you different colors, and you can scroll if you need more colors. You can also use the HSL map where you can change the hue and you can change the saturation by going right or left or the lightness going up and down. You can also have access to colors through the sliders and again you have different sliders. You can have grayscale where you change here. You can have RGB, so red, green and blue by changing the sliders, it will change the color that will display. You can have HSL, which is the hue, saturation, and lightness, which is similar to what you'd get here. At the end here, you have the color swatches where you can change the color and you will see the color change depending on what you chose here. So here you have the pink and the yellow, it will change. The top one is the foreground or the stroke color. The stroke is what will show on the outline of a vector object. And the bottom one is the background or fill color. So in a vector element or object, the fill will be the inside of the actual shape. The larger rectangles will display a combination of the style and the texture. At the bottom you see those three little icons and the first one is the style where you can display either a solid color, a gradient, or a pattern. And the second icon indicates the texture. Either have no texture applied to your style or have some texture. And the last icon is a transparent icon. When you click on it, there's absolutely no color that's going to be displayed. This will be useful in some instances, especially when you're working with vectors where you might want to have no outline or maybe no fill. And of course, you can't have both transparent. If you want to use only black and white for whatever project you're working on, click on this icon and immediately you have only black and white. Under the palettes here, you have new palettes available with PaintShop 2018. However, you can also create your own palette. This palette can be built adding colors to it one at a time. So for example, if I go to my map and I want to add a particular aqua color, I can click on the plus sign and this will be adding it to my palette. I click on it and I'm asked which palette I want to add it to. In this case, I only have one. So I click OK and then I need to add a name for this particular swatch. So I called it palette one aqua. And now you can see my new color is added to this palette. In the same manner, you can also remove a particular color from your palette if needed. At the bottom, you have swatches of the recently used colors. That way, it might be easy to retrieve one color you recently used for a project if you want to repeat and use the exact same color without having to go through all the setting or finding the exact color. Finally, the sample color allows you to pick any color that is available on your screen. 
whether it's the background of your paint shop, an edge, a button, and you can see that I can actually pick any color that will now appear as a foreground. This is an overview of the materials palette in PaintShop Pro.